Hi guys, it's Sean. I hope everyone's having an amazing Monday. Um, check it out. Coming from Toronto, if you're here, the dome is open. So cool. Some of the Blue Jays are back here. Um, those that have passed, I guess, a health test and they're doing some practice. Um, it's amazing. It feels so good. It's such a beautiful day. Um, but today, I want to talk about the wake-up call that's happening that we're not paying attention to. Um, I don't know, this has been on my mind. I've been making some big life decisions um, in the past few days and noticing some fears and a lot of emotion coming up, um, patterns and things that I am sitting with. And I'm looking at what's going on on this planet as I often do, as we all are. And I'm thinking like how many of us are not using this wake-up call for what it's worth. Hey, there's a plane. Cool, it's so good to see planes. Um, what I mean by that is, you've got dreams in your heart, and you've also got fears. I was talking to somebody who I love dearly yesterday, who was feeling very untethered. They were like, you know, through the first bit of COVID, I was feeling great, I got to rest. Um, and mess around and just kind of stay home and talk to my friends online and I was feeling great but now I'm starting to feel untethered and really question reality and um, I think that this person this person that I love is not alone I think that the world has been shut down it's a weird time there's grief there's uncertainty there's fear there's hope there are so many things um, coursing through all of us and it got me to thinking, like, if we're not going to question our life choices now, if we haven't had enough wake-up calls in the past few months, like the Amazon rainforest was burning, the, you know, the world is shut down, there may be some really crazy stuff coming down the pipe, and or there might be a mass human awakening and incredible things are going to happen on this earth. Who knows? There's so many energies floating around. But each of us has this chance to sit with our fears, lean into whatever's coming up, and make new choices. Are you doing that? I'm doing that. And it's terrifying, even though I've evolved so much and have transcended so many of my patterns and released so much of my trauma and my um, you know, dysfunctional dynamics with my relationships and my own is that a bee plane? I don't know. Um, my own stories. I've transcended most of them. I feel so much joy and so much happiness and gratitude every single day, but still patterns come up. Like as soon as I face something new and I start making some big decisions or, or do something that I'm afraid to do, um, sure enough, the next layer comes up to be seen, leaned into, dealt with, but I'm not letting that stop me. Are you? Are you using this time to ask yourself, what are you going to do with your life? No matter what's coming down the pipe, bad or good, what about you? What about what you want? Have you faced your own fears? Are you making choices that for the rest of your life are going to have a positive impact for you and your family um, and your legacy? Because if we are not going to look at ourselves at this time, if we're not going to use this wake up call like the slap in the face that it is for each of us, what, we're, like, what are we going to use? This is it, guys. This is it. This is your moment. The moment you've been waiting for all of your life. The moment you've been afraid of. So you can sit and look at everything and make the changes you want to make and go for whatever it is you want. This is it. So for all of us and for our planet too, this is the deciding time of our lives. Make it count. I love you.